I'm going to slope it about 80 degrees. I blended this already, so it looks all homogenous with the kaolin clay. And no milk in this one. Got my colorants already. So I'm ready for the lye solution and I am soaping at about 80 degrees today. that in a little bit. So I have mixed the leather fragrance with some other compatible fragrances. Make it smell like lightning too. Whatever that smells like. Plus I'm going to combine my lye solution with the oils with my spatula like this first. So I have minimal blender action on it because the leather is one of the most accelerating fragrances I've ever used. And I've learned how to work with it. If you can look back, I think I'll put a link to my first attempt with leather fragrance at the end of the video, because that one turned to a rock. Actually, I renamed it to uh, Taken for Granite, because it was such a bad boy. So let me blend this to Oh, somewhat of a, just a light trace or less than that. It doesn't take as long to emulsify because of the kale and clay, at least for me. Okay, so let's get the fragrance in there. Actually, I'm going to do one more thing. And I'm going to pour for my colors first and then stir in the fragrance. I want to take, don't want to take any chances with it accelerating. So let's pour off the smaller amounts first. So this is going to be the gold and it's very densely mixed with a gold mica so I can keep some of the sparkle to represent the lightning. And this is the blue. This roll is going to be simple for the same reason that, that I don't want to push working with something really fanciful if it's going to accelerate. And of course I'll take notes with this particular mix of fragrances to see if uh, if it does accelerate then I'll take note of that so I know how to work with it the next time. This is activated charcoal with some black oxide. I think I'll add a little bit more black oxide because I want it pretty dark black. rest of this too. Mix this blue a little bit. I want a deep blue. I was kind of turned to this Klein blue. It's a great blue. gold. Blend that with the frother. I can see the sparkle in it too. Okay, so let's get the fragrance in there now. And actually I want that more black and I want to do that before I blend in the fragrance.
there's still some colorant particles in there that when I blend it, it'll get a little darker. There we go. Looks beautiful. And then the blue. It's like a light trace now. And I'll go back to the gold. Please don't be like a freak show on me right now, just talking to my soap. So I'm combining the fragrance and also getting rid of some bubbles. So far so good, but then it speeds up on you, so let's stir this up. Now we'll blend the gold with the frother. It's getting pretty thick, so I better get this all in there. Save a little bit of this for the top. Just give that a basic swirl. Then get the gold in there. Stir it a little bit. And then we're ready to pour. Looks like we did it. We didn't get a rock in the pot. I've made a lot of this leather soap and I make it a little bit different every time. And it smells good. I mix some little bit of Dragon's blood, some Egyptian musk, and some amber. So it's all naturally swirled already. Get the blue on top. So the things that I do with a fragrance that I know will uh, accelerate is to maybe combine it with a fragrance that doesn't accelerate, to slow it down a little bit, blend it less, soap at a cooler temperature, and just work as quickly as you can. Also, simplifying the design would help too.
I think I just want to work with this texture. Looks awesome. Rip it down a little bit. Clean up a little bit of this mess. And there it is. There's my lightning and leather. And we'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, let's cut. This lightning and leather soap. I really like the scent more with some more complexities to it. So there's my lightning and the leather. You can see how that uh, more dense, densely mixed gold mica holds up in the soap. That's a nice one. And I didn't have any issues with accelerating. As I told you, I'd share the, uh, one of the first times I made soap with this fragrance before when it really accelerated. And so I've been working on getting it to swirl the way that I want to for a long time. And I've also learned to um, add just a little bit more of that gold by volume and by the amount of soap batter I make to add to this swirl so that shows up more. Which a lot of soaping is all about trying something and adjusting until you get what you want. Wow, that's really beautiful. Now this could have been an all black soap, but then I wouldn't have had anything to swirl. And that's where I get a lot of fun. Looks like that gold is consistent through the whole loaf too, which is nice. And I'm glad I added a little bit more black because I wanted it really dark. And thanks again for watching. You know I traveled to Puerto Vallarta. So I had to kind of double up and make some, a lot of soap before I left so that I could continue to get the videos uploaded while I was gone. Maybe you'll give me a subscribe for that. I don't know. Only, only if you like the videos. And uh, visit the website, vibrantsoap.com. And I've been posting every day on Instagram as well, and also under Vibrant Soap. So it'd be nice to see you there. And this is my last cut. So I'll see you next time. I think I have a brand new fragrance to use. So there you go. Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody.